The new Galaxy S21 Ultra is Samsung's new phone with everything you want inside of it. It got more cameras, beefier specs and even S Pen compatibility. It is one gorgeous looking phone. In addition to phantom black color, there's also phantom silver color on sale everywhere. Samsung's own online store offers an additional three options, phantom titanium, phantom navy and phantom brown. Whatever color you choose, the matte finish of each color is a significant improvement over last year's S20 series. It's a big phone but easy to hold in hand because of curved display and overall narrowness. The carved edge to edge screen means the bezel is almost non-existent and the 40 megapixel front camera hides behind a tiny punch hole that's easy to ignore after a few minutes of watching a video. As for buttons and ports, we are getting a very similar setup to Galaxy S20 Ultra. The right side of the phone houses the power button and volume rockers. The left side of the phone is completely void of buttons or ports. And on the bottom, you will find the USB-C port, speaker and SIM card tray. The Galaxy S21 Ultra is simply one of the best screens on a phone. It's bright, vibrant and doesn't make you choose between the highest resolution and highest refresh rate like its predecessor. You will be mesmerized when watching a videos on this phablet. The colors are as rich as ever and the viewing angles nice and wide. The Galaxy S21 Ultra screen is Samsung's first that's capable of running at a smooth 120Hz refresh rate while in a quad HD resolution. Both the Galaxy S21 Ultra and S21 Plus have a smooth Gorilla Glass back. This phone packs quad rear camera setup. There's a main 108MP wide sensor and 12MP ultra-wide camera, which is complemented by a laser autofocus sensor. The Galaxy S21 Ultra will make you feel like a secret agent because it packs two telephoto lenses of 3x and 10x optical zoom. Having two telephoto cameras does seem downright ridiculous, but they offer different perspectives, 3x and 10x, all without having to go digital and hybrid zoom in between. The zoom functionality on both sides is optical. The new ISOCELL Bright HM3 108MP sensor brings improved focusing and low light performance, especially when aided by the new laser guided focus assist. The 108MP main camera can capture 12 bit HDR photos with rich color data and great dynamic range. Portrait mode photos generally looked good and had great edge detection due to the laser guided autofocus sensor. Images are pretty clear and sharpness is very good in general. Plus, there's a 12-bit RAW file option in Pro mode. The quality of telephoto camera is quite good. The Galaxy S21 Ultra also performs quite well in low light thanks to a faster bright night sensor and 12-megapixel Nona binning technology for reducing noise. On the video front, this device can record 8K video up to 30fps and all of its cameras can capture 4K video at up to 60fps. There's a new vlogger mode that lets you use the front and back cameras at the same time for recording video. And you can see live thumbnails of each camera while recording video so you can make a quick call if you want to switch. The Galaxy S21 Ultra's footage looks stunning, it delivers near movie quality results. Also you can feel free to move around a lot while shooting. Selfies also look quite good on the S21 Ultra. The sensor is 40 megapixel, but by default it will be down to 10 megapixel. The color is really great especially in good light, even at night you will get a stunning image using front camera. The selfie camera can also shoot 4K video at up to 60fps and overall it looked great. Color and sharpness were just as good as the other cameras. Samsung has also introduced a couple of new features like Single Take 2.0 and Director's View. Single Take 2.0 can create multiple types of media from one recording of video. Director's View will let you switch between different viewpoints while recording video. It can also show a feed from selfie camera in the top corner which allows you to have multiple different viewpoints in one clip. Overall, the camera system in Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra is one of the best you can get on Android. It's incredibly versatile. The Galaxy S21 Ultra is one of the first phones powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 chip which is complemented by 12GB or 16GB of RAM. Do whatever you want and the processor will support you along the way. If you are looking for a phone that can last all day, this is it. It comes with 5000mAh battery and supports 25W fast charging. The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is the most advanced big screen phone so far because it's much more than a phone. 
It's a highly evolved note taking device. Samsung has made its most elegant looking phone yet with the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. The squared of edges combined with the sophisticated mystic bronze color give this handset a corner of its vibe. The finish does a good job of resisting fingerprints. The massive 6.9 inch OLED Quad HD Plus display on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is big, bold and colorful. More importantly, this is the first Samsung phone to offer a dynamic 120Hz refresh rate. The display is exceedingly bright and is fairly easy to read in direct sunlight. When using the display, scrolling is super smooth and fast. You can always choose 60Hz manually if you want to save battery life. The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra features triple rear camera setup plus a laser autofocus sensor. The camera array starts with a 108MP wide camera with a 1.8 aperture and it's paired with a 12MP ultra-wide camera with a 120-degree field of view. The 12MP telephoto lens delivers a 5x optical zoom and up to a 50x super-resolution zoom. The zoom lens delivers amazing quality. Every time you zoom into something, you will be surprised by the distance it covered and the details it captured. The Galaxy Note 20 Ultra's night mode is good, but it's not quite as bright or colorful as the iPhone 11 Pro. Pictures taken with this device deliver stunning quality with great details and colors. The Note 20 Ultra delivered better results than the iPhone 11 Pro in close-up shots. If you want to record the sharpest video possible, you will be pleased to know that the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra can record 8K video with a 21 by 9 aspect ratio. There's also a new Pro Video mode that lets you control the focus, exposure and zoom speed. The 12 megapixel selfie camera up front has a 120 degree field of view which should come in handy for group selfies. The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra benefits from a swift 9ms response time for its S Pen which is designed to deliver more of a pen to paper feel when taking notes or drawing. It's one of the fastest Android phones around and it's one of the first handsets with Qualcomm Snapdragon's 865 Plus processor. This chipset boosts the clock speed by up to 10% to 3.1 GHz and the graphics is also 10% faster than the regular Snapdragon 865 chip inside the Galaxy S20. This processor is paired with 12 GB of RAM and either 128 GB or 512 GB of internal storage. As you would expect from a premium flagship, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra supports both flavors of 5G. You will also appreciate the improved DeX experience, which is now completely wireless. Now you can beam what's on your Galaxy Note 20 Ultra screen to a compatible smart TV. The Galaxy Note 20 Ultra packs a pretty beefy 4500 mAh battery, which held up well in daily use. It comes with 25W fast charging. It also supports wireless charging and 9W reverse wireless charging. It offers a best-in-class display, a better S Pen experience and a boatload of new features for work and play. The cameras are stellar, fixing the focusing problem with the Galaxy S20 Ultra and the powerful zoom and Xbox gameplay give the Note 20 Ultra an advantage over the upcoming iPhone 12. The Galaxy S20 Ultra is Samsung's biggest Android phone and it lives up to its name. It is the first Samsung phone with a 120Hz display which is designed to deliver smoother motion when you are scrolling and especially playing games. You can also toggle between 60Hz and 120Hz in settings which will come in handy if you want to save battery life. Samsung 6.9 inch display will push the boundaries of your fingers reach but it won't feel much bigger than the S10 Plus. Its width is actually a little smaller than the 6.8 inch Note 10 Plus and 6.7 inch Galaxy S10 5G. It's just that the Galaxy S20 Ultra is noticeably taller, not wider, expanding to a 20 by 9 aspect ratio. You can still grip it with one hand and shove it in a deep enough jeans pocket. The Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra is made of glass and aluminium and it is protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 6. The specs of this smartphone rival the likes of laptops, meaning it's more than you will ever need. The internal specs are all top of the line, a 7 nanometer chipset, Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 in the US or Samsung's Exynos 990 in the UK and Europe, 16 GB of RAM, 512 GB of internal storage and a micro SD card slot for expandable storage. The app's performance are silky smooth. The S20 Ultra isn't a pure gaming phone but it matches the Asus ROG Phone 2 and Razer Phone 2 with a silky smooth 120Hz refresh rate. The S20 Ultra has a 108MP 1.8 aperture main camera a 48MP 3.5 aperture telephoto camera and a 12MP 2.2 aperture ultra-wide camera. 
There's also a time of flight depth camera on the back, aiding portrait photos and 3D scans, and a 40 megapixel selfie camera on the front. It's Samsung's biggest camera sensor upgrade since the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. The main 108 megapixel camera delivers great quality pictures with stunning details. The camera performed well in almost every light condition. The telephoto lens is capable of 10x lossless zoom and a crazy 100x space zoom. Pictures from the selfie camera delivers great dynamic range and quality. The Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra camera introduces 8K resolution video recording and steady stabilization. 8K is going to allow you to crop and edit video without sacrificing quality, while the 4K will give you more frame rate and zoom options. Samsung super fast charging returns on the S20 Ultra up to 45W with an optional charger and 25W with the charger included in the box. It also supports 15W fast wireless charging. Samsung equipped this phone with a massive 5000mAh battery, which is the biggest in a Galaxy S series device. Samsung Galaxy S20 has a lot of potential. Samsung promised something amazing will happen in 2020, and here it is. The Galaxy Note 10 Plus is one of the Samsung's biggest and most powerful phone, and its aura colors almost symbolically reflect a smartphone luxury top to bottom. With 6.8 inch screen size, the Note 10 Plus is a massive Samsung phone, but it's easy to fall in love with the screen and aura glow glass back. It's both class leading and classy looking. It can be slippery and extend beyond your natural grip. It has an ultrasonic fingerprint sensor that works smoothly. Samsung's use of punchy colors, a pixel-dense Quad HD Plus resolution, and high peak brightness made its Super AMOLED screens look superb. With its Snapdragon 855 processor, the Galaxy Note 10 offers comparable performance to the Galaxy S10 and S10 Plus, but the addition of UFS 3.0 storage provides a speed boost. It has plenty of memory for multitasking, as it offers 12GB of RAM, and you get 256GB of internal storage. Unlike the Note 10, the Note 10 Plus includes a microSD card slot for expansion. When it comes to gaming performance, the Note 10 Plus has an AI-based game booster mode for optimizing performance and power consumption based on the game. The Note's secret weapon is the S Pen Stylus, and this phone comes with some new neat tricks. It's shorter and thinner than before, but it still accomplishes the same great fine tip note taking. There are four cameras on the back. There is a 12 megapixel wide angle camera and 12 megapixel telephoto lens, and an ultra wide shooter to fit in more of the frame and a depth sensor to achieve more convincing bokeh effects when shooting portraits. The main 12 megapixel camera captures bright and punchy colors. The photo quality is amazing and delivers great dynamic range. It is also supported by optical image stabilization. Color rendering is good, producing vivid and pleasant colors, and the auto white balance system produces good results even under artificial lighting. Low light photos look better than ever thanks to a dedicated night mode with superior post processing technology. The telephoto lens offers 2x optical zoom. Zoomed pictures show great details and color too. The ultra wide lens can fit more into the frame and does not disappoint the user. The Note 10 Plus offers 4K video recording at 60fps and 960fps super slow motion recording at 720p resolution. The phone offers live focus video effects, so you can blur out the background or change the background to black and white while the subject is in color. There is an improved super steady mode in the camera. Once you press the button and start recording, the camera can minimize any camera shake. The 10 megapixel front camera captures solid selfies with great color and accuracy. There is also a night mode for the front camera now. The Note 10 Plus offers live focus effects when shooting portraits, similar to the Galaxy S10 Plus. You can record 4K video at 30fps with the front camera. With 4300mAh battery capacity, it will get you through more than a day, and it charges much more quickly than previous Samsung phones. It also supports 45W fast and 15W fast wireless charging. If you love watching Netflix, YouTube and Instagram stories on your smartphone and want a phone with great performance and camera, then the Galaxy Note 10 Plus 5G is for you. The Samsung Galaxy S20 Fan Edition is a more affordable version of the flagship phone S20 and its motto is for the fans, which means it prioritizes cameras and display quality at a more favorable price than the rest of the Galaxy S20 line. There is a 6.5 inch Super AMOLED display with a 120Hz refresh rate for a smooth scrolling and great viewing experience. 
For this price, the S20 Fan Edition packs most of the best perks of the flagship S20 line. A Snapdragon 865 chipset or Exynos 990 for the 4G version, 6GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. With this processor and RAM, you can expect to have great fluidity when using any apps or games. The Galaxy S20 Fan Edition features a triple rear camera setup just like the Galaxy S20 but with different lenses. The Galaxy S20 Fan Edition features a 12MP main camera, a 12MP ultra-wide camera and a 8MP telephoto lens with a 3x optical zoom. The space zoom goes up to 30x. Meanwhile, the Galaxy S20 packs a 12MP main shooter, a 12MP ultra-wide lens and a sharper 64MP telephoto lens that crops in to achieve a 3x optical zoom. Its space zoom also goes up to 30x. You can record 4K video at 60fps. Up front, the Galaxy S20 Fan Edition has a higher res selfie camera at 32MP compared to the 10MP for the Galaxy S20. This makes sense because Samsung is targeting a younger audience with the Galaxy S20 Fan Edition. Both the Galaxy S20 Fan Edition and Galaxy S20 share the same top camera features such as night mode, super steady and single take. The phone has a 4500mAh battery maxing out at 25W wired fast charging and 15W wireless charging.